The VK9001P is currently in the stores in containers, German TRX collectible, but is it worth it? Hello again everybody and welcome back to Food It Splits and as I said the VK9001P is back in the stores in containers and as you can see there as you can see there are four types of containers now my store is in UAE dirhams but basically your 10 times containers which includes another three will cost you approximately hundred dollars where your five containers will cost you about fifty dollars so you know they, they're not they're not cheap now the thing is it only has a four percent drop chance but you are guaranteed to get the tank after 30 charms so you work that out that's approximately $300 for a pixelated tank if you don't get it but should you be looking at that well it's not a bad tank but it's not going to be setting the world on fire as you can see its damage is pretty average its rate of fire is well pretty low the penetration is not bad in fact it's pretty bloody good the armor is okay if you know how to use it Speed is okay and rotation is okay. Now, looking at the hit points, it hasn't got that many. It's mainly on the front. If you look at the damage, the DPM, it's okay. The reload time is not that bad. Penetration is off the chart. Average damage is pretty low. Depression, uh, 10 degrees, that's not bad when you consider that you need to put this thing all down to protect that bottom plate. I normally have it with this as the loadout. Why? Because just the way I do it I just want that extra um, HP and that extra mobility and that gun stabilization and I normally run it with these consumables because I want my crew to work faster and I want that sort of extra edge to the HP again armor wise wow well, this is what it looks like as you can see frontally it is pretty rock solid however those cheeks can be easily penned and it's a bit tricky to maneuver, as you'll see in a moment. So this is it facing off an E100. And if you try to side scrape in it, look at that. It just becomes green along the sides. Its biggest downside, lower plate and those cheeks. If I stick, uh, if I move the turret and wiggle it a bit, the cheeks become green and easily penetrable. And, you know, that's its biggest downside. If I stick APCR in, then obviously it becomes a lot easier to pen those cheeks. But what's it like to play? Well, it's it's a similar play style, to be honest with you. It's a cross between a the VK72 and I would say probably an E5. In so far as it's not as slow and as cumbersome as the VK72, it's rear mounted, it's got a nice reload, and it's got pretty funky armor. So reload is pretty much like the E5. It, it, it's nice, it, it's not that long 16 seconds that you get on some of them. Penetration is off the charts. If you go all down in this thing, it's okay. But as I said, if you turn that turret, you will get penned pretty easily. It moves around the battlefield quite nicely. Would I say it's noob friendly? No, it is not noob friendly. I mean, the reason I say that is because if you don't stick this in the right spot and if you, you turn that turret too much and you over angle, every man and his dog is going to pen you. It's just that straightforward. So I wouldn't say it's new friendly. It's not an uber heavy in that respect. It's not like, you know, a mouse where you can sort of bounce everything by wiggling, jiggling and making sure this thing it's a it's got a great gun it's got great penetration it doesn't dish out massive oodles amount of damage like the e100 in the vk and it's dealing damage along the lines of the e5 but once you get used to it it's actually a really nice tank it's different it's a different heavy it's more like a heavy um to be honest with you and if you front line it and you're in the wrong place, then you're going to come on stuck. So this is a tank that likes just sitting back from the front line a little bit. That's not to say you've got to camp in it. I mean, it doesn't like camping. It likes being mobile. That's why it's got a good engine. And that's why it's got massive frontal armor and a nice gun. But be careful. 
because, as I said, it's not noob friendly. The armor is pretty tricky to get to grips with. And not only that, you know, if you if, if you try and side scrape in this thing, over angle it and get it all wrong, you're just going to get wasted. Is it worth the crates? Well, that's not for me to say. That's for you to say. Now, before you ask what Fuji you bought it, actually I haven't. This is on my Asian press account. I haven't got this tank in my main account's garage. Why? Because spending $300 in order to be guaranteed a pixelated tank, to me, is just obscene, to be perfectly honest with you. Now, I may get lucky and I may get it in the first crate or whatever, but is that a risk I'm prepared to take? Am I prepared to spend $100 or even $50 to take that risk because I know what will happen if I spend the $50 I won't get it and then I'll think I should have bought the $100 packet and then already I've spent $150 and then I'll have 15 charms and I'll think oh you know I only need 15 charms to get the tank so I'll drop another bloody $150 that's $300 guys for a tank my advice it'll come around again wait your time on this one because whilst it's a unique tank, it is not OP, it is not broken, it is nothing like that. It's just an expensive, unique-ish tier 10 collector in the German line. However, I'm not the one to tell you to spend your money. That's not for me to say, that's up to you how you spend your money. All I'm saying is, if it was me, and I don't have this tank in my garage, and I generally have almost every tank in the garage, I wouldn't do it. It's that simple. Tank-wise, well, as I said, I mean, it's nice. It's a nice addition to the Germans. Oh, got a mastery there, look. It's a nice addition to the German heavy line. If you, if you know how to play it, then it's a nice tank. But would I take this over an E100? No. I would rather use my money and grind for the T set for the VK72 and the E100 if the truth be told. So if you have got $300 kicking around and you it's burning a hole in your pocket and you have to spend it on this game, then buy gold, get the free XP, get the E100 and get the VK72. You don't need this tank. Seriously, you do not need this tank at this moment in time, guys unless you're a tank collector. But even for tank collectors, this thing will come around again. Do not despair. It's not like Wargaming only issue these tanks once in a blue moon. They don't. And, you know, if, if this was reasonable, if you, were, if you could get this tank after 20 charms, then I would say mm, possibly it could be worth a look. But when you're looking at 30 charms, and you get one charm per box. Wow, that's a lot of charms that's needed, guys. Seriously, it works out at approximately near as damn it three hundred dollars, and I would not spend three hundred dollars on a tank. I'm afraid I would wait my time. That's all I'm saying. They did the same with the Badger. It recently got released for gold. This will come the same way at some point in time. So save your money, grind the British lights, or grind the VK72 or E100 because you'll be better off and you'll be happier and your wallet would be more happy and you won't rage that you've been conned by crates because no one's conning you at the end of the day. It's just the way these things work. It's clickbait. But anyway, so... As you can see, I mean, it is easily penetrable, but it's got a nice gun, it's got a nice reload. If you stick it in the right place, you will get a few bounces, or I bounced jack squat in this game, I bounced a lot in the last game. But I managed to, you know, cap a base and churn out quite a decent amount of damage, and that is what counts with this thing. I mean, it, like I said, it's not, it, whilst it's meant to be a super heavy, it's not really a super heavy, it's more of a heavy um. Anyway, that has been the VK90 Zero 1P. Oh, look, another mastery. It is currently in the stores. 
I would urge caution on this one, guys. Seriously, I would. I've been Fujit. I hope that's been enlightening. By all means, comment and everything below. If you haven't yet pressed subscribe, please do so. It's a lovely thing to do. I'd like to thank my subscribers for getting me past 3,000 and my Patreons for, without their support, videos like this would be a lot harder to do. If you've got any decent replays, wing them across fujitsblitz at gmail.com or put them to my Discord server. And until the next time, stay safe out there. Have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking, because that is what it's all about. Having fun and being happy.